Hi, I'm Jen and this is Marcus. And we're at the Centrifuge facility at Farnborough today to experience a bit of G training and see what it's going to be like on our mission to Mars. Centrifuge at Farnborough has been here since 1955. The device was originally installed, we believe, pr principally for research purposes, although these days it's used for training as, as much as it is for research. So we sat in the centre of the centrifuge where the instructor sits, and the instructors are going to be taking us to a variety of different G levels. Um, Jen's going to be experiencing up to 4.5 G today uh, and I think they're going to potentially push me a little bit further. I've done a previous uh, RAF aircrew medical so I'll be wearing some inflatable G pants which hopefully pushes the blood back up to my brain and stops me from passing out but uh, let's see how it goes. We teach the anti-G straining manoeuvre which composes of two separate parts. First of all muscle tensing so both the buttocks and the legs squeezing the blood vessels to try and get the blood back up into the chest and the head but also the second part is a breathing maneuver uh, which uh, increases the strain in the chest directly increasing the blood pressure to the great vessels in the chest. I'm feeling um, a little bit nervous um, having not done any sort of experience like this before um, but we shall see as uh, centrifuge and g-force training obviously would be an essential part of my space crew training so um, I'm excited but a little nervous. Um, just a little bit of fuzz. I will try my hardest to look forward. <laughs> Off we go. My word that is so difficult! You do not think it's going to be that difficult, and it is. It's so much more difficult than you think. So much pressure you're feeling on yourself. It, it's almost like you're like transported to another world, you know, um, like you're floating or like you're falling. It's just, yeah, that was, whew, that was intense. Oh, just take a Pilots need training on the centrifuge because the equipment that they have in their aircraft to protect them against G doesn't really do the whole job, and they need to do a physical maneuver to augment the protection that they get from their kit. I've never done this before, so uh, I've previously flown with the Red Arrows and did 4.5G, um, but this is obviously completely different. It feels slightly claustrophobic because you've got a number of cameras and lights looking in front of you. It almost feels Lancaster bomber-esque. Oh. The grey out is um, effectively when you've got no blood to your head uh, and your vision start, starts to go because you've got no, all the blood's pooling down in your legs. So the grey out is your vision shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and it's like looking through sunglasses um, but really messy sunglasses inside so it's just really dark, really hazy. Um, and the techniques that were teaching us then is if you, you can squeeze your legs and control your breathing and be able, by doing that you can control the, the graying out. Um, so first off doing it and I hadn't squeezed my legs hard enough and then the second time when I squeezed my legs I regained the vision. A little bit surprised at how hard, how hard work it was, um, especially the 6.5 a lot of hard work to to squeeze against the g-suit and um, to control the breathing yeah it was exciting it was good fun when you lose blood pressure to your your head you could even lose consciousness and we term that g-induced loss of consciousness or g-lock so g-lock in itself is not dangerous but the real point is when you g-lock you're flying an aircraft so if you're not able to fly that aircraft i'm, I'm sure you can appreciate that that is a, a real problem 
G tolerance is something that's innate in all of us. Some of us have high G tolerance, some of us have low G tolerance. Those that have lower G tolerance generally have to work harder at the G straining manoeuvre to uh, keep up with the G of their aircraft. So we just want to thank um, everyone here at the RAF Centre of Aviation Medicine um, and Kinetic for use of the centrifuge today for our Starship Space Crew training for G training. It's been absolutely incredible. Um, so yeah. If you like this video, uh, please like it. Subscribe for plenty more videos to come and stay tuned for some more Starship videos.